Hello, this is Jay Bowman from OnlineForexAnalysis.com. I'm doing a segment here today for the 15th of August 2011, and my segment is on the um, CAD and the Euro, and also the Euro CAD in particular. So let's get straight to it. So what we have here is the US dollar CAD, and on the monthly it's pretty much sort of um, uh, finding a base here. It's it's finding a base out of a, a long downwards ch channel. Um, so when I have a look at the weekly on the US dollar CAD, is that it's it's basically sort of trying to break out of this point of resistance here, and um, you could say if you do get a breakout on a on a on a, on a break here, um, is that we're gonna the CAD will depreciate further as the US will get stronger. Um, that's only on a weekly close above this sort of level here at the 98.78 mark. And um, so basically, we do get a break. You know, you could possibly be looking at parity, so we'll just have to keep that in mind. On the uh, daily US dollar CAD is that we've got uh, some support here at the 98.50 mark um, for it to continue on its upwards, up, upwards trend there. So that's um, the US dollar CAD. Let's go to the Euro. Now with the euro, go to the monthly, we have um, sort of nothing really going on here, um, except for that it's got some, some uh, you know, support here at the, the 141 level. And also on the uh, weekly, we've got an upwards, downwards, well, downwards um, trend, four touches at the top, um, and basically... Uh, you know, it's just continuing in those lines now. It's more than likely to go um, to stay sort of subdued, really, because if we go down to the uh, daily, we haven't really seen much action in the last, you know, week or week, two weeks. We've just seen some sideways action here. So not much really happening on the euro that I can see. Now the euro CAD is definitely something I want to keep my eye out on, and that's because it's on a bull flag at the moment meaning that one uh, euro will buy more Canadian dollars, so for the Canadian to get weaker towards the euro. So if I go to the monthly, nothing really to say here, can't really get much uh, patterns. Um, so nothing really much to say on the, on the monthly euro card. Um, but if I go to the weekly, we do have some sort of point of uh, resistance, sort of at the one... 43.30 mark, um, that would be sort of my weekly resistance level, 143.30. And with this um, daily bull flag, if it does break and stays above this level here today, which it is today, the, the, the 15th of August uh, in Australia, that's where it started. So um, if we get a break here with target of 145.61, now mind you that we have got some resistance here at the um, 143.80, so 143.30 mark. Um, so, but, you know, you're still looking at about 200 pips, okay? And our average true range gives us an idea of what sort of... Um, average true range is about 150-odd pips. Um, so that's sort of, you know, looking at about, what, 200 to... Um, or 200 and, say... 230, 250 to 160. Yeah, not the best risk to reward, not a perfect 2 to 1 ratio, but if you can drag your stop up to a neutral position as soon as possible, then you'll be all right. So that's the trade I want to give you for this week. Um, keep up to date with my posts. Um, this is Jay Bowman signing out from onlineforexanalysis.com. Thank you.